what's good you two? It's your boy TJ. Uh, I've just got in from the gym. I went to the store and had no food left. And obviously I want to cook my food now. So I was about to cook it and I thought, you know what, let me just make the video. Cause you haven't seen a cooking video from me. You saw Rizzy's um, high protein prawn and chicken wrap. And I thought, I'll do another, I'll do one as well. Cause I bought diced chicken as well. So I thought I'll do one, but mine's not going to be fried. He did his on the, um, the stove and fried it. Mine's going to be the oven approach so you can see how to do it with the oven. Okay, cool. As I said, I already was gonna um, cook my food. I only just put it on. So, there's what I bought. There's two for the sale. There's two for sale. There's two for seven pound from England. You know, so I bought two. Uh, you can see my protein. I've already had my protein shake, so I ain't filmed that. My protein. But yeah, okay. So basically, I'm gonna have ugh, two of two packs of these. I'm gonna put in there. And let's see now. Pop back it. Boom. <laughs> okay, and the key is when you pop this, obviously it needs to be washed as well. So when I drop this in, I'm gonna give it a couple washes. There you go. Get every last bit of that. Book. Cool. Uh, my tap needs to be like run for a bit. Ah. Okay. Take. I'm gonna start off where I left off now. Uh, as you saw, I was about to fill it with water, and I found my stand for my camera. So now you can at least see me in the video as well, so not just my hands. Okay, so first I'm going to wash this. So it taps me running for a bit. Uh, so when you wash it, what you got to do is, you don't need like a thoroughly wash, just fill it with the cold water, and just rub it around a bit, and you'll see the water like, start getting cloudy. So I want to do that a couple times, and pour it out, wash it again. Uh, normally you can drain it off and get out all the excess water, otherwise sometimes your chicken can get a bit a bit watery, but um, I'm just gonna okay, wash this out now, do about twice and I'll see you in a minute. Hi, right, I'm back again. Okay, I've had my uh, you've seen me uh, wash the um, wash the meat now and now I've drained it off and now I'm ready to season it up. Oh yeah, before I start as well, when I first started I preheated the oven, it's uh, 100 degrees Celsius, so that's gonna be preheat. Cool. Now it's chicken. Uh, there's two packs of that I bought in there. But um, in each pack it is 410 grams, that's what 820 grams of chicken in the pot. Uh, okay, I'm Jamaican, so you know I've got my jerk season on deck, so that's gonna be on it. And I've got some all-purpose chicken seasoning and cayenne pepper because I like cayenne pepper I like having my I like having my food with a bit of spice. Plus, there's like, I'm not sure if it's bro science or what, but they say spicier foods help your metabolism because it produces more saliva or some sort of business along the lines, along the lines and the enzymes in saliva help break down all sorts. I'm not, don't quote me on that. That's what I heard a good, about a couple of years back and I like the taste of it so I stuck with it. And mixed herbs, stuff like that. Uh, first things first, I always put on my mixed herb and cayenne pepper first. Put on a decent amount. I don't, when it comes to like seasonings, I don't track macros or any of that shit, to be honest. I just, I like what, I know what tastes good, so yeah. Okay. Can't see most of this, but that's what it looks like so far before I start mixing it up. Where's my fork? Good. Get a spoon, mix that shit up. I've noticed when I make my when chicken fillets, not chicken pieces, but actual like sliced or chicken fillets, is that if I don't put like sort of barbecuey stuff on it, after like the second day of the chicken fillets, it tends to get dry. Like even if I don't put like barbecue stuff, like, sauces on it, the first day is fine, but the next day when I reheat, like when I take it to work and so off and whatever, it tends to dry out. Like the second and third day, it just gets dry. Where uh, but since I, since I like add like sauces to it, it tends to like make it more moisture. So when I heat it up in like tomorrow and the next day, it has more juices to keep it more succulent rather than drying out like it tends to do. Because um, chicken fillets in general tend to be a, a drier than like pieces, so you just have to try and make them as succulent as possible so you can actually enjoy them and eating them, not just choking it down. Because sometimes they if, if chicken fillets dry out, they can be like charcoal, like, chomping on rocks. So you have to make sure that. You cook it properly and you don't overcook it so it dries out. So it's a fine key. It normally takes me 35 minutes once it's in the oven and that's like every um, 10 minutes. Kind of turning them and flipping them over to make sure it's cooked through thoroughly. 
cool. So I put on so far the cayenne pepper and the chili powder. Next thing is my Jamaican jerk seasoning. Yup, F and J. <laughs> uh, for this, it, this shit's strong. If you have jerk seasoning, you're new to it, you don't use it. Don't just go pour like huge amounts. Normally with this one teaspoon, not table, teaspoon is enough to like give it a certain amount of flavour. Because if you pour a tablespoon of this shit, you're gonna be choking up like mad because it's proper hot. So I know how much a teaspoon is coming. Fucking with jet seeds so I was a kid, was I was younger when that was cooked. So I'm just gonna knock out a tablespoon worth. Maybe a bit more because I've got two packs rather than just one. But I can always tell by the look of the actual chicken. I can tell by the, the colour how much um, needs to be added or has been added too much. Like if your chicken tends to look like it's flipping dark brown, that means you put on a hell of a lot of seasoning. So you need to like almost cut that shit with some sauce so it's going to be like really really spicy. But if that's what you're into, cool. I like mine like medium kind of spice. But yeah, always have my jerk seasoning up around me. Ugh. Hopefully this video won't be too long for you. I'll have to probably chop out bits where necessary. But yeah. Here's the camera. So far, that's what it's looking like. If you can see that. Ugh. Yeah. So yeah. Remember, mine was gonna be in the oven, not on the stove like uh, Rizzy did his. And mine's not gonna have no prawns or anything like that. It's gonna be this and probably ham. I think it will be a wrap. It'll be a chicken and ham wrap. So yeah, a lot of protein there, yeah, bitch. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm probably gonna say why well, I put some of the seasons on it, but I'm like tasting it. I like mine to have like a nice flavour, I don't like it to be plain. Maybe when I'm into like tracking macros hard, I'll probably cut down on some of the seasons, but I just like my food to taste nice and enjoy it. I don't like having, I don't like eating for function, as some people say. I like eating when it tastes good. You know what I mean? Put a little bit of this on, all pepper seasoning. Just to give it a bit more extra spice. It doesn't have to be a lot, you want to put jerk season on it. Really, you only, you can only, you can get away with only using one or the other, like jerk seasoning or or all pepper seasoning, you don't need both. Well, I tend to use both just because that's how I like the flavour, I like them combined. So that's just me. Okay, so next thing's next. I'm going to add on a barbecue sauce, some sticky marinade barbecue sauce, and that's to make sure my food stays succulent. There's two sauces I'm gonna put on, not just this one. I've got, who is it? Shh. Where did I put it? Oh, that. Yeah. Reggae Reggae sauce, you know Levi Roots. Put some Reggae Reggae sauce somewhere. If you don't know the song, well, Google it. So like YouTube it. Levi Roots, Reggae Reggae sauce song. You know, I might even put that as the background music if I don't get sued. But yeah. Put a good couple of squares of that in. And once you mix it up, the, the colour I tend to go for when I'm making chicken fillets is like a reddish brown. If it gets to that colour, then it's right. If it looks a bit too pale, then I know I need to add a bit more sauces to it. And it's starting to get ready brown now. That's fine. Uh, normally in my wraps I put cheese in it, but I don't have any on me today because when I went to Tesco, I wasn't sure what I was even going to make. I wasn't sure if I was just going to literally just make chicken and pasta. But I've already made my pasta, which I forgot about, so if you want to see me making pasta, I'll just be making the wrap. But in case you're wondering what pasta I use, ugh, got this big ass bag of Tesco brand pasta. I think it's how much grams. It is 3 kg, 3, 3 kilograms, and it was, I think it was like 3 pounds or something along those lines. So I bought a big one, like buying machine bowl. This is my protein shake, I like big ass bags. Ugh. Damn. So yeah, I was telling you about the chicken needs look. I like my chicken looking like a ready brown colour. As you can see, there it is. That's the kind of colour I go for. So more or less now, it's ready for the oven. Okay, and as I've said, I've already preheated the oven. So to me, that colour's right there. I mean, it's seasoning enough. I see my mixed herbs. I put in, remember, put in cayenne pepper, mixed herbs. I put in jerk seasoning, all purpose seasoning, my regular regular sauce. Ugh. And now I'm ready for the oven. So now with this, make sure you, I'm going to put it in the pan now. You can see a bit more. 
Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, it's so nice, I'll put it in there. Spread it out evenly. Obviously, because you need to make sure everything cooks correctly. It goes slowly through. Bam. Cool. And for this, as I said, you normally take two. Probably take because chicken fillets cook quicker than chicken pieces like big chicken thighs and bones in them. You know what I mean? It's like 35 minutes is around the max, 40 minutes max, and that's at, I'm going to put it at 150 um, in, on the oven. So, normally 35 minutes at that, and every 10 minutes I flip it over to make sure it's cooked through thoroughly, and that's what normally fine. You can probably get away, you can't even get away with like 25, but I normally put it on 35 just to make sure it's cooked, I don't want no salmonella. But yeah. That's it, you can see a full tray's worth, so that should hopefully be one, that should be one, two, at least a good three to four wraps that I can make now. And it should last me a good couple days, unless I got really hungry, and maybe even last me three days, but yeah, that's it. I probably won't show you, show me 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, because that's kind of pointless, but I'll show you the end result um, as it comes out of the oven and when I put it into the wrap, so you can see what kind of colour and what it should look like when it comes out of the oven. Alright, see you in 35 minutes. In a bit. Okay, everyone, it's been 35, actually, it's been more like 40 minutes. It was 40 minutes to talk. But yeah, we'll take out the other. Oh, bam! And it's cooked. I'm not sure if you can see it, I'll put it up a bit. I'm gonna burn myself, but yeah. That is the colour and the way it looks when it's cooked. Ooh, juices, but yeah. Ah, oh, small less. Uh, I've already got my stuff inside. I'm gonna be putting it in wrap now. I like my tortillas warm, so I'm gonna put that in the microwave for 15 seconds. And I'm gonna be having it with wafer thin cooked ham. Um, I'll only be showing. I'll only show you um, like one wrap because I like making my wraps on the day. Like take my tortilla out because when I um, put them out and take them out and cook them or like put them on the wrap straight away. The wraps tend to get dry for like tomorrow's and whatever. So I'll keep them in the packet and then tomorrow I'll do the same thing again. I'll take it out of the packet, put my tortilla in the microwave and do whatever. Cool, but yeah. See you once that's finished. Okay, just took it out of the oven. Uh, basically what I'm going to do now is pick out enough to film a wrap. Oh, man. Okay. I'll probably speed up bits of the video as well so you can go out and watch these dry bits. A uh, quick tip as well when you make your fillets. Uh, I would use the edges for your very first day, use the edges because the edges of the um, tin fillets and the edges of the, of the pan tend to be the ones that get dry quicker because they're not even in the middle with all the juices. So the first day, use those ones first because they'll still be succulent, whereas tomorrow they'll be dry, they'll dry out faster than the rest. That's a quick tip for you. Bam, I think that's enough for the wrap. Okay. And normally I'll slice up the ham ball. I ain't got time for that shit, I'm hungry as fuck. We put one or two on there. Bam. It's two slices of ham in it. Uh, protein, what's that? Per slice, it didn't tell you, the protein. I guess it can't be that much. Oh, but as I said, I'm not really a big macro track yet, so that doesn't really affect me too much. Uh, so yeah, that's what I say, and I put a little bit, well, I put a little bit of extra sauce on it. Regular, regular sauce, bam. See, I filled the wrap so much it can't even close, should have got But yeah. Bam. And that's TJ's, was it, ham and protein wrap. Uh, I'm gonna have this with my pasta as well. I'm not gonna show you the pasta because I made that yesterday. But next time I make the full meal, I'll show I'll show like you me making my meats and making my sides as well. And obviously I'll I'll show you like the full meal, so like my veggie, my pasta, and whatever meat I tend to cook that day. But yeah, hope you like the video. It's the first cooking video for me. Um, hope I'm probably have to edit quite a bit because I think I checked the footage before it um while I was waiting the 35 minutes, and I think it was already like 11 minutes so I'm going to try and make the whole thing no longer than 12 minutes and I also know it's like a full move uh, that I put on two loads of jerk seasoning because I meant to put on the all-purpose um, seasoning but because I'm really close packaging 
I went and put on a different brand of jerk seasoning. So this is probably gonna be really hot. So my metabolism, according to that bro science, should be up, should be on a high level. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned to the videos, like, comment, subscribe. I'm about to eat this, I'm hungry as hell. So in a bit, peace. Why give a bitch a heart when she rather have a purse? Why give a bitch an inch when she rather have nine? You know